Every democracy needs a strong citizenry to survive and to thrive. Here in this country, we the people are the foundation for this democracy. But in today's day and age, there's been a decline in the civic education of our citizens. And what this book hopes to bring forward is the idea that we need more options to develop knowledgeable, capable, and effective citizens for our democracy to survive and thrive in the 21st century. Well, and we also need better political leaders. Uh, we always complain about how terrible our leaders are, and then we provide them no reasonable training to be any better. And we can do that through our classes and our programs and our experiences on college campuses. Yeah, I think for me as a political science professor, I'm not interested in having students merely know about politics. I'd like them to have the knowledge, the skills, and the motivation required to actually get engaged to help solve community problems, get engaged with their communities, but also in the political system, either as active civic leaders or even as ordinary citizens who are able to mobilize themselves and their communities in the event that there's a problem that arises, that they have those skills and, and that knowledge that they need. Our communities nearly always have those problems. That's not going to be <laughs> no, no of shortage of problems to address. And this book can help in instructors across the country and worldwide to get some ideas uh, about how they can help their own students to develop knowledge, skills, and civic uh, inclinations and motivation. And indeed, what we have right now, the system we have now, is almost that in education, we give kids a tricycle in K through 12, a tricycle in civic education, in civic participation, but it's a very, very rudimentary bicycle. There's a history of the country and so forth. But we don't really then expect them to jump to a 10 speed and ride off into uh, democracy, into the democratic sunset, if you will. Um, but we expect them to just make this leap without helping them to transition into fully functioning adults, fully participatory adults in our system. And we can do better. That part is what the book's about, is how we can do better doing this. Especially with experiential approaches, active learning approaches, so that you're actually practicing the skills of citizenship to learn those skills. And I think that's what's really helpful, learning what other people across the country are doing, because you get ideas for what might work to engage your own students.